This is the Blue Eddy Charging Enhancer, the D050S, and this allows you to get more solar panel input on your larger Blue Eddy power stations. Now, what if I told you Blue Eddy lied about the input specifications on the Blue Eddy Charging Enhancer? For example, here in the owner's manual, it shows 12 to 60 volts DC input. On the unit itself, it also shows 12 to 60 volts DC input. Now, in my original video of the Blue Eddy Charging Enhancer, I basically showed you guys it was impossible to get the full 500 watts from this device because of the 60 volt cutoff. Now I've been hearing some rumors that this actually takes a higher input voltage than what's actually stated. Let's do some testing. So here I have my Blue Eddy AC200 Max, I have my Blue Eddy Charging Enhancer, and I have an adjustable power supply that will let us go above 60 volts. Now I have my adjustable power supply set to 60 volts. Remember this is the maximum voltage that the Charging Enhancer should be able to take. With it connected up, it's pulling three watts at idle. Let's go ahead and connect it to the power station. Now the Blue Eddy Charging Enhancer plugs into the AC charging port, so we'll go ahead and connect that up. Now it usually takes a second to start charging, so let's see what happens. So on the screen, you can see we're getting right around 180 watts, and over on the power supply, we are getting 59 volts at three amps. Now the fans for the power supply are kicking on, so I apologize for that background noise. But next, I wanna turn up the voltage to see how high we can go before it shuts off on the Blue Eddy Charging Enhancer. So let's just go ahead and turn this up a little bit. Now it will adjust a little bit higher. So let's see what happens. So 62, 63, 64, 67, 68, 70, 71. Okay, it's still going. Let's go ahead and use the fine adjustment to go a little bit higher. Now the adjustable power supply is at 74 volts and 3 amps, and we're getting right around 221 watts into the power station. Now just FYI, this is a 120 volt, 3 amp power supply, so the maximum amperage we can pull from this is 3 amps. Okay, I've cranked the dial up, let's see what happens. 76. Oh man, we're still pulling 2.9 amps at 76 volts. Hmm, so, oh, there it goes. Okay, so look, now we've dropped down the amperage to nothing, so the Blue Eddy Charging Enhancer has gone into a safety setting because the voltage is too high. So it's right around 75 to 76 volts is when this shuts off. So it appears that the Blue Eddy Charging Enhancer actually takes up to 75 volts input versus the stated 60 volts. So what does this actually mean? Well, it means that you can use a wider range of solar panels to get the full 500 watts from this device into your power station. Now I have a bunch of different panels outside. I wanna do some real world testing. So let's take this outside and see how it performs. So these are the three arrays that I'll be testing with in the video here to see if we can get the full 500 watts from the Blue Eddy Charging Enhancer. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this array here. So these are three 180 watt new power panels. Now these are unique because they have a VOC of 19 volts. So I purchased these three panels so that I could test power stations with a 60 volt cutoff and these work really well with the Blue Eddy Charging Enhancer. So let's see how much we're getting from this array first, and then we'll test the other two. Now, in order to see the display of the Blue Eddy AC200 Max, I have it here in my shed. We are gonna be using a 20 foot 12 gauge extension cable from each of the arrays, and I have it connected up to my voltmeter so we can see the open circuit voltage before we connect it up to the Charging Enhancer. Now, with my voltmeter connected up to the new power panels, we are getting 54.8 volts open circuit, these panels are well within the tolerance of the Blue Eddy Charging Enhancer. Now I've gone ahead and connected the new power panels via the Blue Eddy Charging Enhancer, and we're getting around 450 to 460 watts input. Now take note that you can see it's coming in on the AC charging port because that's where the Blue Eddy Charging Enhancer connects. It takes your solar power and converts it to the same input as your AC charger would. We still have the ability to connect 900 watts of solar on this side so we can dual charge using the Blue Eddy Charging Enhancer. So pretty decent performance from these three new power panels connected in a 3S configuration. Now these were the only panels that I recommended in the past because the voltage open circuit was under 60 volts, but they do not make these solar panels anymore and they're really hard to find. But now that we know the Blue Eddy charging enhancer goes over 60 volts, let's go ahead and test three of these Bouge RV panels. And then we'll also test three of these Renogy panels to see how they perform. So jumping over to the Renogy panels, I'll go ahead and throw up the specification sheet for these panels, and then we'll go ahead and test the open circuit voltage. So the voltage open circuit that we're getting from the Renogy array is 66.7 volts. So still under 75 volts. Let's connect it up and see what happens. 
Now with the Renogy solar panels connected up with the Blue Eddy charging enhancer, we're getting near 500 watts input. So pretty cool guys, it works if the voltage open circuit is over 60 volts. Now just FYI, I did have to unplug this once and then plug it back in because the first time I was getting zero wattage. But now with it plugged in the second time, we're getting near 500 watts. Now when I measured with my voltmeter, we got around 22 volts open circuit on each one of these panels and they are spec to have around 25 volts. And that's because it's a little bit warmer outside today. You see closer to the VOC ratings when it's really cold. And sometimes the VOC can go even higher than that rating if it's really cold outside. So I'd probably recommend a panel with a little bit lower VOC if you wanted to use it with the Blue Eddy charging enhancer, because when it's cold outside, you're probably gonna see above 75 volts with these three panels in series. Now the last array that we'll be testing with with the Blue Eddy charging enhancer is this array here. Now I'm only using three of these solar panels in series. These are the Bougier V 180 watt nine bus bar solar panel. I'll throw up the spec sheet for these panels on the screen. So let's go ahead and connect three of these in series and see what we're getting on the voltmeter. So with the Bougier V solar panels in a 3S configuration, we're getting 68.7 volts open circuit. I've gone ahead and connected up the Bouge RV solar panels with the Blue Eddy charging enhancer. We're seeing 479 watts charging input. So even though the voltage is over 60 volts, we're also able to use these solar panels on the Blue Eddy charging enhancer. Now, some of you may be wondering, why does it even matter if it accepts higher than 60 volts? Well, you remember that this has a 10 amp input limit. So if you had 30 volts coming in from two solar panels connected together, you get around 300 watts. If you had 35 volts, you get 350 watts. So any combination of solar panels connected in a 2S configuration, you cannot get near the 500 watt limit. And I wanted to find an easier way to get closer to that limit. So a 3S configuration is good, but a lot of the panels go over 60 volts. So now that we know this accepts over 60 volts, you can use other solar panels for the Blue Eddy charging enhancer to get closer to that 500 watt limit. Now I wanted to show you how beneficial it is to use the dual charging with the charging enhancer on the AC200 Max. I've connected my 1000 watt Renogy array here. We're getting 915 watts. Now remember this has a 900 watt limit. So we're a little bit over that, which is kind of surprising. And I have the Blue Eddy charging enhancer connected here. We're getting 479 watts. So with both options connected and with solar, we're able to charge in your 1400 watts on the AC200 Max. So there you go guys, Blue Eddy did lie about the Blue Eddy charging enhancer and the maximum voltage that it accepts in. Now, you'll have to let me know what you guys think about this town in the comments section. Now, personally, I find this more helpful or more useful now that I know that it takes, you know, a full 75 volts before it shuts off. And I wish Blue Eddy would have stated that from the beginning because it makes it much more compatible with solar panels on the market. Now, I will include the link to the Blue Eddy charging enhancer down in the video description and also the solar panels that I use so you guys can replicate these same results. Now, if you guys like this video or found it entertaining, I invite you guys to smash the thumbs up button. Also, did you guys know that many of the viewers that watch my channel are not subscribed? Check that. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any future notifications. You gotta ring that notification bell. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This thing is useful for a lot of their older power stations like the Blue Eddy AC200P, the AC200 Max like this one here, or even the EB200P that I reviewed earlier on the channel. If you want more solar, it might be wise to pick this up. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, we'll see you guys in the next video.